Blah 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 intro. What's up guys? I'm the ice cream here. Blah blah blah. Christmas. Blah blah blah. It's toys. All that stuff. Now see if that was edited. It probably would have done a zoom in and had weird music. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, guys. I'm hot, bothered, and under all these studio lights, uh, it's, it's just even hotter. <laughs> Not to mention the fact that there's kids swimming in the pool next door, and that's just tempting me to just body splash from my house to theirs, um, <laughs> which is a, a distance. Um, uh, um, but yeah, bloody neighbor kids. No, they're good. They're fine. It's good the kids are at least dehydrating. Not dehydrating. <laughs> that made me sound awful. Hydrating. Not that they're drinking the pool. At least I hope not. You kids drinking the pool? Yeah, you can't do that. That kid knows what's going to happen. <laughs> anyway, so uh, let's uh, just move on uh, with looking at this toy, which is the DC Collectibles. Uh, Greg Capullo Designer Series. Uh, my computer is running low. Doesn't matter. Got the charger right here. Um, that's not the actual series, believe it or not. But, um, yeah, uh, the Greg Capullo Designer Series, uh, Series 3, I think this is, Two-Face. Really cool packaging, um, standard for the designer series, at least the Greg Capullo one, I'm not sure what the other ones look like. Uh, down the side here you get Two-Face, you get this kind of uh, purplish reddish wine colour for the uh, little strip there. This is number 10 in the line. Same basic stuff up the top. You get a picture of the character himself there, which looks really nice, same info. On the back here, you get the rest of the wave. You get Batman Zero Year, Two-Face, Commissioner Gordon, and Batgirl. Uh, I have the Batgirl, and I do plan on picking uh, both of these guys up at some point. Um, I don't know. Uh, I think those figures are pretty cool. Uh, Commissioner Gordon, uh, you know, I, I, I think uh, he doesn't get enough love uh, in action figure form. There's not a lot of action figures of him running around. But, uh, then again, I guess it's because people don't really want to pick him up. He's not a marketable figure. Mostly, you know, characters like Commissioner Gordon aren't marketable action figures a lot of the time. Uh, so, for him to come out in the Collector series is pretty good. Of course, we're getting the animated one, which is cool. I'll pick that up for sure. But, anyway, let's get into the figure. Now, I don't have his guns with him. They're currently with other figures, and I can't remember which figures I gave them to. But it doesn't matter because he can't hold them anyway. Uh, I say that because, as you can see, this hand is not even posed to hold a gun. This side has the coin. So why he comes with two guns, I don't know. Maybe they fought ahead and it's like, yeah, people can use that with their figures. Yay. All right, so we'll actually save the head sculpt for last. I want to, like, talk about the figure just going up. You can see the boots. Uh, of course, it's got the motive that I prefer for Two-Face, the half black, half white, but they've kind of gone to town with the shoes a little bit. Uh, more so for Two-Face, because usually Two-Face just has, like, black and white shoes. But this time, um, they've got the little silver buckle up the top, which is cool. This side has, is it gold? Yeah, it's gold, uh, with the black sole, which is cool. Suit pants look really cool. I haven't actually compared, but I think they use the same suit for all of the suited characters in this wave, but I'm not sure. I'll have to check that out. Uh, you can see here the, um, the buttons are white, and it's only really the top button that's done up, which is cool. Uh, this side is white. This side is black, of course. If we look at the coin, the coin looks... Well, it's just an X. That's hella weird. Why is it just an X? Is is it like... Is it... Yeah, there's nothing on that side. And there's just an X on that side. So that's... Is that the way it's supposed to be? Is that like it is in the comics? I'm not sure how I feel about that. But, uh, yeah, you can see all the detail in the hand. All that shading and line work. Really nice. Um, the tie and shirt look really nice. The hand... I mentioned this in the actual top 10 video itself. I love how it's not just like completely burned. It's like surface level burning. It looks really cool. And then of course, um, this side of the face looks really nice. That hair is really cool. We'll move him here. I'm just trying to, there we go. No, um, I love that side of the face. It looks pretty cool. 
standard Gurkapolo design work. And of course, we come to this side. This is some of the finest sculpting work I've ever seen on an action figure, and the paintwork is immaculate as well. If you are, if you can only get one Two Face figure in like your whole life, you can only buy one Two Face figure. This is the one to get, definitely without a doubt. That face looks really nice. His eye is just completely gone. It's just a gruesome looking figure. There's the teeth there. Even the glossy paint that they put on this, man, it looks sick. It just gives that appearance of fleshy, you know, like just, oh man, it's gruesome. Like, you know, when you get like meat from the butcher and stuff and it has that sheen on it. It's just straight up, man. Straight up grotesque. Ugh. Love that face sculpt. So let's let's get into some articulation. He has a rotation at the head. Slight up and down movement. Just has a swivel at the shoulder. Uh, the bicep cut comes a little bit low for my liking. It's just above the elbow. It makes it look kind of weird. Uh, single jointed elbow. And um, wrist articulation, just a, a rotation. Uh, waist can rotate pre-60. Um, and leg can hinge in and out. Uh, single joint at the knee. Uh, and the ankle can slightly bend back and forward and rotate. But I'm not going to force the ankle. Uh, if you've watched my last review you'll know why i don't force the ankle um so yeah that was a quick one despite how much i love that figure let's bring him back in shot just phenomenal sculpt like i said guys if you can only ever get like one two face in your life this is easily the one to get it's just a phenomenal sculpt it looks fantastically grotesque grotesquely fantastic all of that shit so yeah um do yourself a favor, guys, and find this figure. I paid a total of... Where's the thing? Okay, it doesn't actually say how much I paid for it. I'm going to say it's roughly around $42.95. That's typically how much they go for at Area 52, which go into them and check them out for anything you guys need, um, which is pop culture related, um, I guess. Just go in there, check them out. They're a great store um in hobart um just go check him out fantastic store if you're in the area um ah, no uh but yeah seriously uh do yourself a favor go into area first off if you live around there and pick up this figure um any way you can just pick it up even if it's loose um but yeah guys uh one thing i could have changed probably give him a given him a trigger hand and an interchangeable hand i don't know but, yeah, guys, I thank each and every one of you for watching. Um, you guys keep me going. You really do. Um, so, yeah, please like, comment, subscribe, share, all that cool shit. Uh, and I'll see you tomorrow for a neighbor. Uh, another. A chef. A fan. Yes. Um, another video. Uh, until then, guys, take care, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.